<laughs> oh, can we use any of this yet? <laughs> Got an R rated R rating here. In this video. <laughs> okay, what else do I got? Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's life. That's the village. <laughs> well, it's a little village. I tell you, you you have a lot more than that. <laughs> My mother moved to Port Lair when she came in from France, and that's way back. I forget. Uh, I don't forget the year though. I don't remember. That's I wasn't there. <laughs> so my father was born in Port Lair. Uh, he was uh, the oldest of ten kids, ten children. We, we lived on an apartment building on the, on the way to the uh, Point Lair Yacht Club, which was uh, the, the, the street, Cartier Avenue. And there's a big stone house, it's still there. But uh, the water would come up so high, the uh, city would have to put some uh, wood like, like a sidewalk in wood so that we could get out of there and, and, and go to school and stuff like that. Start going to school, so then you gotta go to mass, to, to serve the mass in the morning for five cents. You get up at five in the morning and you go and serve the mass and you got a nickel, so you got rich. Because in those days, they, your parents didn't give you any money, you had to earn it. So you wake up in the morning, you go to mass, yeah, and then you go to school. Go go home, go back home for breakfast, and go go to school. Oh, <laughs> and we walked too. Oh, trust me, we had a, a bath once once a week, whether you needed to or not. And it was a square tub, steel tub. And guess what? Daddy got the first. He got the first shower, but the water stayed. So it was a second. A third. <laughs> the fourth. So it, that's the way we had our showers. And my mother sometimes, at one point, sometime of the year, she'd say, it's time to pee in a bucket. So your boys pee in a bucket. So, well, okay, we pee in a bucket, mommy, you know. She says, mommy, it's red, it's full, it's okay. Just keep on, just put another bucket, pee in a bucket. And we, we didn't find out for a long, long time when she was doing that. She, she they'd buy pow, uh, flour in big bags, and the flour had well, a mark is on it, you know, the name of the company and stuff like that, and then you put them in there to take that off. And then they, the bag became white, white, white. So they use that to make pillows, sheets for the bed. Man, that's, that's what they were, that's the way they were raised, you know, that's a, not to, no, don't spend no money, you, you have it right here. Imagine that, eh? It's, it's, you have to think about it to be able to do stuff like that. So the pea made it turn... Oh yeah, the time white. The, all the color went. Sometimes she would uh, catch some little brown birds that eat the, the, uh, the horse's manure, you know? And we'd have a supper of little brown birds. Just have the little belly, belly and she cooked them and we, that's what we ate for supper. They were good. <laughs> But in the village at that time, let's say in the 40s, yeah. meats and fruits and vegetables were available. Oh yes, oh yes. Yeah, but if you had to buy them, you know, three boys, we were, uh, you know, we were busy. Well, at six, six years old, I started uh, delivering papers, you know. We had four runs. But we'd go for the English paper, and then and, 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 and the winter time, if there was a big snowstorm, my father would come with the car, and we'd grab by the bumper and drag in a bag on your back and then you, 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 you just bang on the car, it's time to stop. This is a, a customer. <laughs> what, you have skis on or something? Huh? You, you have skis on or just a No, no, shoes? we just sit on those shoes. We just slid behind. behind. <laughs> Did you guys have to wear shoes in the village? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, no, but you, 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 might want, you don't want to talk about that, I don't think. You know, it's, it's, it's criminal, but we're little boys, you know. So we, we figured, we, we see the rats at the behind the, the, uh, the grocery store, it was full of rats. So we'd put a little bait on the, on the, on the, on the, on the hook, and the rat would come and, and then you got a rat at the other end, and I go, oh, take you, they took off. Whoo, <laughs> try, try and take this thing back in. That was a rough job, <laughs> but that was 
some way, something to do to play, you know. We just, we were, I don't know, maybe eight years old, nine years old, you know, we didn't know. Finding, uh, finding things to do in the village. Well, keeping busy.